fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today we're going to be talking about a question from Facebook. We're going to be talking about beneficial bacteria, biological filtration, and sponge filters. Grab yourself a snack and a beverage and I don't care if it's healthy or not because it's the holiday season and calories don't count. Stand by. <laughs> to the channel fishy folks before we begin I'd just like to take this opportunity to wish everyone a happy festivus the holiday for the rest of us and of course Merry Christmas happy Hanukkah happy winter solstice happy Kwanzaa happy whatever you celebrate and uh, you know if that offends you that I've wished you a happy holidays instead of Merry Christmas or a Merry Christmas instead of happy holidays get a life you should just be thankful that I'm wishing you anything all right, folks, enough about that. Let's talk about filtration. Now, this, this came from Facebook, and uh, it's not a rant because it actually was a decent question. And to be honest, I didn't look at the responses because, to be blatantly honest, I, I, I don't care. So, all right, fishy folks, the question is this. Now, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, so it's pretty close, but the question is, uh, if you add more biological filtration to your filtration system, will that increase the uh, beneficial bacteria colony? And the simple answer is no. That's right, folks. I said no. And here's why. Now, you do need a basic knowledge of the nitrogen cycle. So if you're not sure how the nitrogen cycle works, or you just want a refresher, or you just want to help the channel out, pause the video right now, click on the link up here, to link to my nitrogen cycle video. Make sure you like and comment over in that video and then come on back. So we'll wait though. If you want to go watch it, we'll wait. Yeah, no, no, go ahead. <laughs> they think we're waiting, but we're not going to wait. They're going to come back and press play. So anyway, so let's assume the original poster, the OP has a small aquarium co-op sponge filter. Oh, oh, which reminds me. You can now buy the small and large aquarium co-op core sponge filters on my website, michaelsfishroom.com, as a seeded sponge filter to instant cycle your tank or help out your cycle if needed. That's right, michaelsfishroom.com, two sides of aquarium co-op sponge filters. Okay, so let's say the OP, we'll call him Fernando. Fernando has a 10 gallon tank with 10 male guppies in it. Doesn't matter if it's planted, doesn't matter what else is in the tank, as long as the tank's been stable for a while, and it has small aquarium cloth sponge filter, 10 male guppies. He feeds Dr. Basilier's every day at the same time, the same exact amount. What I'm saying is the bio load stays the same the entire time, very stable. But if he added a second sponge filter, that's not going to double, say, the beneficial bacteria colony because that beneficial bacteria colony the size of it is dependent on the bio load which if you understand the cycle you understand the bio load includes obviously the fish waste pee and poop which causes ammonia rotting plants uh dead fish or snails or shrimp that you've missed leftover food all of that as it decomposes creates ammonia now, because we all know about the nitrogen cycle now, we know that one bacteria, beneficial bacteria, consumes the ammonia and produces nitrite with an I. We also know that a second beneficial bacteria consumes the nitrite and creates nitrate with an A. And so ammonia and nitrite are both pretty deadly to fish, even in lower amounts, 0 0.25, 0 0.5 parts per million, whereas nitrate isn't so much 40 or more parts per million, you may want to change the water, but up till there you're probably fine. So that said, there's no way to increase the colony, the beneficial bacteria colony, without increasing the bio load. So the OP would have to add, obviously, more fish to create a bigger bio load. Now, a couple of things to know. First of all, the amount of beneficial bacteria that can colonize in all the nooks and crannies of this sponge filter uh, certainly outweighs the bio load of 10 guppies. You could probably put 50 guppies in there. I wouldn't recommend all at once with a small sponge filter. 
feeding correctly, correct water changes, yeah, you probably would be okay. So just because you add a bigger filter or a second filter doesn't mean your biological filtration and beneficial bacteria increase. You have to increase the bio load. And of course you wanna do this slowly so we don't wreck the cycle. Now, if you do do something silly like you went out and, and got your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever, you know, 10 guppies for Christmas and they already had a tank that was struggling or right on the edge of being maxed out, <coughs> I'm fine. You'd have to do a fish in cycle, link to that video here as well, uh, to increase the biological filtration safely, non-toxic, by neutralizing the ammonia and nitrite. So it's pretty simple. It's really not that difficult. It's not rocket science. In fact, I understand it, and I'm just a dumb guy with a camera. Quite handsome, I might add, but you know, that's that. All right, folks, I hope you guys have a great holiday. Let me know down below if you have any comments or questions. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com where you can buy aquarium co-op seeded sponge filters in the small and large size, as well as guppies and plecos and rams and quarries and angelfish. Have a great holiday, everyone. See ya. All right, fishy folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Michael from Michael's Fish Room. Uh, I do breed for profit and I import fish as well, and you can check all that out on my website, michaelsfishroom.com. I don't want to start that way. And the answer is no, it won't. What? That's right. Just because you have more biological filtration does not mean that your biological... Sorry. Fuck. I suck. All right, fishy folks. The question is this, and now I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but essentially it's... The, the question... All right, fishy folks. So the question does come from Facebook. Now, it's not a rant. It actually was a good question. Uh, and I didn't read the answers because, quite frankly, I, I, I don't care, but... The question was, and I'm paraphrasing now, the question was, essentially, if I add more beneficial back... T no. Fuck. The question was, if I add more biological filtration to my filtration, will that increase my biological... God damn it.